Hello everybody, it is me ZMW7 and today we are going to, um, well today we're going to do a tutorial on how to fly in AirX 2020. First of all, click Spawn C172 to spawn in a new Cessna. After that you can see the Cessna is spawned in. Here's the throttle. You can use Shift to bring throttle up, Control to bring throttle down. Here's the mixture. If you bring the mixture down all the way to zero, there's the engine's not going to have. Well, the the engine's going to shut off. You use plus and minus keys for mixture. Here is the key. You can use the T to turn on the key. You want to start the plane. You got to turn the key to start. You want to give it some mixture. You can hold right click to zoom in. You can use W A S D Q E to steer. To teleport, what you want to do is you want to press M for map. Let's let's go to you want to search for the airport using this sign. So K K J F K K J F K. You click view. You want to click this go to button down here. To see HTTP request stuff, you want to press 3. To see aerodynamic stuff, you can press P. Um, you can press F for flaps, or you can use this flaps lever here. You can, let's see, you can use the up and down arrow keys for trim, or you can use this trim wheel. Trim helps with um, fugloid oscillation, which is when your plane just goes up and down. Yeah, trim helps, I usually set my trim to around 73 or so. You can press O for mouse controls. And again, O to just to go back to, you can use, press C to unlock your mouse. You can do this, either scrolling or clicking and holding, going up and down, to put these on the outside. And you can press C to unlock your mouse so you can make them bit smaller or bigger. And you can close them. You can press B for autopilot. And you can press N for nav toggle. I'll get back to that in a bit. So let's set the heading to that. Press H. And now it's going to hold the heading. Um, you can press L for altitude. You can press U to switch the modes of this between GPS, Nav 1, and Nav 2. You want to use the Alt 1 knob to change the altitude in hundreds of feet. You want to press L toggle the altitude thing with autopilot on of course um if you want to follow your plan well let's go here let's plan a flight to LaGuardia And what we want to do is, with autopilot enabled, we want to N U U, and our plane will begin to follow. Now you see how things are turning into jello? That's due to something called floating point errors. Basically, the further away you get from the origin in the ro in Roblox, the worse and or more noticeable these errors will become. To fix that, you can press 1 to recenter. See, it says preparing to recenter, and it's going to lag a bunch. But what it does is it teleports you and all the things around you. 
back to 0, 0. It's going to recenter. And it is recentering finished. And if you look, boom, much less noticeable. Now, the further out you go, the worse and more, or rather, more noticeable these can get. By the way, these are terrain errors. There aren't actually huge spikes um, here in, in New York. Um, let's go ahead and fly over there. Let's bring the alt up a bit, altitude up a bit. See, 332 for that, 332 for that. Let's go ahead and turn off autopilot and just turn around real quick and dangerous. Um, by the way, you can click on a waypoint and plan to go to that waypoint. Let's press N to turn it to GPS. And it should follow the flight plan. And there it is. You can see it's following the flight plan. If I click on this. See, on the list is a list of airports. Normally there's more, but there's just me in the server right now. You can see, I'm following. I'm going to begin to follow the flight plan. Let's look at the runways for KLGA. Looks like we're gonna wanna land at runway thirty looks like we're gonna wanna land at runway thirty one. So to do that we wanna turn see it says, see how it says runway thirty one. One oh eight point five. That's the frequency that we wanna enter into this little nav one knob. So it's one oh eight point five, one oh eight point five. Then what we can do let's press three for that. And by the way, you can reset the map with two. Well, it looks like there's been a bit of there's a bit of um, a thing where terrain is covering it up. This might not work too well because I didn't give it much time to do it, but it might. We have our flaps on full. 
This is a terrible example. Let's try a different one. Let's go for that runway, which is... Well, I the runway numbers I don't think are correct in the world in the game, but the run the runway numbers here on the map menu are correct, but not the ones actually on the runways. Hopefully that will be um, fixed soon. Anyway, let's press M. And which runway is that? That looks like runway four. So K L G A one ten. Point five. There we go. And let's go back here a bit. Super fast fly mode. There's Manhattan. Let's press B. And we should no, no, here we go. About to do it. Slow down a bunch. And there we go. The, pretty much auto landed. Remember, you want to press U to switch between the things. Which are it's GPS, Nav 1, and Nav 2. I'm not sure where we can enter in Nav 2, but that's okay. Yeah, but yeah, that's those are the controls for Air X 2020. I will leave a list down in the description. Also, um, if you want to, you can join the Air X 2020 Discord server. Um, and yeah, that's that's the game. I'll leave a link to the game in the description to the testing place in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.